Did you know that JotForm allows you to accept ACH bank transfers through Square? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of one of my forms. And allowing your users to pay via ACH bank transfer allows for a simple, secure, and cost-effective route for you. And it's all done through Square. So let me show you how to get started. Again, I'm already in a form. We can see we have our name field and an email field. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my payments. And we have Square right at the top. If not, you can always utilize the search option. And as you can see, I am actually already logged in, but before you log in, make sure you choose the mode. So if you would like to give this a test first, make sure you come over here and you choose the test mode before you log in. And of course, if you have more than one business location within your Square account, make sure you choose the one that you need and it's gonna automatically pull the currency from your Square account. And then right down here, credit card is required as a default payment for every single one. But as you can see down towards the bottom, we have ACH bank transfer and we see that option pop up right down here. Perfect. Now under additional gateway settings, we can add that customer email, which is going to ensure that you have an email field because sometimes we might not require it. And we can also change the fulfillment type and send a payment receipt. So let's go ahead and continue. We are good here. Let's create our product and let's just create a test product and we will make this one ten dollars and if you have a description or an image definitely add those in there but let's go ahead and save perfect we are good to preview our form and give it a test we'll do fill form we will choose that test product for ten dollars we'll choose the ach bake transfer and we'll go ahead and add that account holder's name now from here we're going to be taken to plaid to log in to our banks system so we scroll down we have all that information right here we can choose to continue we'll enter in our phone number and choose to continue next we're going to enter in a verification code now because i currently utilize plaid i already have my credit unit information already populated but if you've never used plaid before you're gonna to wanna to utilize connect a new institution. And you can always use the top search bar to search for your institution, or if you have one of the more popular ones, you can always choose from right here. But let's just say Bank of America. So from here, we're going to be taken to Bank of America to log in. Now, once you log into your account, you're going to need to give another verification code. So just make sure you have your phone nearby. And from here, we're going to choose where we want this to pull from. Do we want to pull from a specific checking account or a savings account? We can choose that here. And once you've chosen that account, the form is submitted and it is good to go. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use Square and ACH bank transfers to allow your users to pay with their bank account, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.